It's no wonder that Merrill Richards walked with a limp. It's a good, a good nearly two inches there. After six hip operations, her pelvis has become so weak that one leg has pushed upwards, punching a hole through the bone, leaving her increasingly disabled. But now for the first time, surgeons have tailor-made a new joint on a 3D printer and they'll use her own stem cells to hold it in place. Absolutely fantastic. And this 3D printing is just taking off, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful, yes. So we'll all be able to come in and have knee replacements fit specially for us and just take out an old part and put a new part back in again. We've got the actual implant here based on the patient's anatomy. It's made from metal but printed out from a computer, a 3D shape created from layers of titanium welded together by a laser. And because it's based on Merrill's scans, the implant here in purple is a precise repair for the shattered bone. It means the operation at Southampton General Hospital can be planned in advance with no surprises on the day. It's hugely simplified the surgical technique, shortened the uh, procedure, uh, which uh, reduces morbidity and uh, hopefully will reduce such things as infection. Um, makes my life a bit more uh, stress-free uh, when I'm trying to work out if I've got a component that will fit uh, an unpredictable hole. 3D printing is increasingly being used to create intricate shapes impossible to make by any other means. Surgeons believe it could be a game changer for complex orthopaedic operations. Like all new technology, this is hugely expensive for now. With the computer-aided design and the 3D printing, Merrill's implant will cost in the region of £12,000, far more than traditional surgery. But in time, the costs will come down, and in future, more and more patients will be having tailor-made surgery. And to increase the chances of success, scientists at Southampton University have developed a way of using Merrill's stem cells to hold the implant in place. It's going to be a much tighter fit. It's going to be that glue that allows that bone formation to occur and that will allow that whole structure to be much, much stronger. And for her, we hope, the last time she comes back to the operating room. If all goes well, Merrill's legs will once again be the same length and she will be able to walk pain-free without a limp. Thomas Moore, Sky News.